Hey everybody, so today we will be installing a 6 inch rough country lift kit on our 2007 Toyota Tacoma. And if you enjoy this video, be sure to comment, like, and share it, as well as subscribe to our channel. And you can check in the description below for the link to Rough Country's website. You can check out lift kits and other very cool accessories for your own truck. And we would like to thank Stoutworks for doing the installation for us today. They're located in Mooresville, North Carolina. And if you check in the description below, you'll see the link to their Facebook page. They specialize in pretty much anything automotive, and if you can dream it, they can build it. So definitely check them out for your next automotive project. Now with the truck in the air, we've gone ahead and removed the OEM skid plate. Just four bolts under this right here. Now we're going to start dismantling. On this side, we've gone ahead and started off removing the pin right there. We're loosening up the brake line brackets, that way there's a little more wiggle room. And we're going to separate the upper control arm from the knuckle. And then remove our wheel spacers so we can get the hub cap off. front brake caliper off which is just two bolts on the back side of the caliper. We're just going to go ahead and zip tie it up in the corner to keep it out of the way. With the caliper out of the way, we've gone ahead and unplugged the ABS switch right on the back side of the caliper and now we'll go ahead and remove this part right there from the upper control arm. Now we're working on moving the strut. We have the bolt right here and then three bolts up on top of the strut. With the hub cap off, you're going to go ahead and remove the pin that's on it and then you'll be taking this piece right off. And we have this sway bar end link right here off as well. And then the tie rod end, that's a part as well. And we'll be able to take that off, take this off, and then take that off. We've gone ahead and removed both struts now, and this kit is designed to be used with the OEM strut assembly, but since we've had a coil spring spacer in the front end for the past six years, we've gone ahead and ordered a new set of OEM replacement struts. So these will go on with the new strut spacers. We now have the entire knuckle off the vehicle. We're going to go ahead and dismantle it by taking out the four screws holding it on, and then we'll be able to replace it with the new knuckle. We now have the stock knuckle off the vehicle. Here's the rough country one. Definitely much larger and more beefy. And here's the whole hub assembly. And that'll go on to the new knuckle. With the whole strut assembly out, we're working on removing the lower control arm. So you have the bolt right here, and then right in here. We now have all the lower control arms off of the vehicle. And we're now working on lowering the front differential. We have these plugs unplugged up here. Now we're working on removing the front drive shaft. We've taken the four bolts holding it in place, and then we'll be able to slide this part right down. The next step is to now cut this cross member right here. We've gone ahead and measured it off using the directions from Rough Country. We're gonna go ahead and get the power saw and cut this whole section right off. We just finished up cutting off this cross brace. Now the drive shaft has some room. And we touched up a little by cutting this bottom piece off. That way it looks a lot cleaner. So we're working on assembling the cross members. We've gone ahead and put a differential bracket on. And here is the other one. We've gone ahead and used these supplied bushings to get these all squared away. And then these supply bolts to mount them. So now we're installing the rear lower cross member. Using the provided bolts from Rough Country. And it fits nicely in there. We're working on taking the right and left transfer case mounts off. Just a few bolts holding it on right over here. And then the bolt right there. And that's out. Now we're installing the front lower cross member. Now we'll just use the bolts that it comes with and then the nut on the back side. And now both front and rear lower cross members are now installed. 
So we're lining up that bolt right there with that big bushing. And then this bracket is gonna line up with those three holes. And with all those holes lined up, we can just put the three bolts right back in. Now we're installing the second differential bracket. Just putting it on the cross member and then we'll put it in place. And then we're just putting the factory bolts that hold the differential in place and just bolting it to this new bracket. And then now just reinstalling this one last bolt. And with the bolts back in, now we've gone ahead and plugged back in the four wheel drive plug. To start on the rear, we're going to go ahead and remove the shocks, just the bolt on the top of there. And then we have the bolt on the bottom. We're assembling the new rear shocks, and we have the optional shock boots as well. And we're using the supplied clamp to tighten down the shock boot there. And in the top portion, this will slide right into this groove. So we're loosening up some of the brake lines. And there's also one on each side of the leaf spring right here. We'll just go ahead and take all those bolts out to give us a little more room. We're now working on taking the U-bolts off and it's just the four nuts right on the bottom here. And now with our original lift kit block out, we're gonna go ahead and reinstall a new one. And with that on, we can use the supplied U-bolts, and then we'll put the original bracket back on the bottom side, and then tighten them up. We're now working on doing the extensions for the brake cables. We've got this piece here, and those other two pieces. And then we're working on installing the shocks. We've now finished up the rear end. We got the rear shocks in place. You can see the rear blocks, and then all the brake line brackets have been installed. So with that done, we'll go ahead and install the drive shaft shims. To start off with the shims, we're going to go ahead and remove the two bolts holding the carrier bearing in place. And this kit came with six shims. We're going to go ahead and use two on each side. So we're just going to place them on each side with the supplied bolt and then tighten them down. Since we are adding such large rear blocks, it's going to increase the angle of the drive shaft. And it'll help maintain a factory angle of the drive shaft. That way there's no excessive wear on the transmission or the differential. Now that the rear end is complete, we'll go ahead and finish up the front end. Now we're reinstalling the lower control arm using the factory bolts. We're now installing the new sway bar mounting brackets. It just lowers the sway bar a little bit and moves it forward. And now we're just removing these bump stops and they just unscrew. We're assembling the bump stops, and this is the original bump stop with a bracket part of the kit. And then we're taking these pieces with the rubber portion, we just screwed this on, and then we'll install these. And now we're reinstalling this bump stop with the new spacer. We're now starting on the new bump stops. We've gone ahead and drawn two holes to where it'll be drilled through. There's already one already started in the frame. So we'll go ahead and drill through the frame and then install them. We now have the bump stop on and the kit came with self-tapping screws for each side. So we went ahead and installed them and now that's right on. We're now assembling the new strut. We got the strut spacer on there. And you'll just be using the original bolts that came right off of here to tighten this one down. And now for the top of the strut, we're gonna use this piece that comes with the kit. And that's just gonna go in the top hole right there. And we'll have to tighten it down, that way we can actually get this entire piece to go inside of here. So now we're reinstalling the new strut. Gone ahead and put a nut up there just to hold it. And now we're just positioning the strut back into the lower control arm. Yeah, it's not too much. Do you want? We're now putting the hub assembly back on the new knuckle. And just the four bolts right down there, that'll hold it onto it. And with the Rough Country knuckles attached to the OEM hub, we're now ready to reinstall these onto the truck.
And the knuckle's now bolted to the lower control arm with these two bolts on the underside. And we have already gone ahead and installed the steering stop brackets on both sides of the truck. And now we just need to reattach the sway bar end link, the tie rod end, and we already have the upper control arm reattached. And with everything reattached, we now have the brake caliper and disc brake along with the wheel spacer back on. Now we just need to reattach the sway bar bracket to the new mounting brackets. And with both sides complete, we can now work on the skid plates. We'll go ahead and remove these two parallel skid plate brackets. The differential skid plate will go right here using four bolts, two on each side. And now we have the front skid plate installed. It's just four bolts in the rear and then three up front. And with all the bolts retorqued and the wheels back on the truck, we're now ready to take it off the lift and see how it looks. So there you go everybody, that is the installation of the Rough Country 6 inch lift kit on our 2007 Toyota Tacoma. Definitely a very nice kit and very well put together. And once again we'd like to give a huge thank you to Stoutworks for doing this installation for us today. So thank you all for watching and please be sure to subscribe to our channel.